The cool chain is really one of our key focus areas. It applies to all temperature sensitive products. Here you can distinguish it between food and the pharmaceutical market. We work with uh, uh, food producers in uh, Southern Europe or South Africa that export their products to retail customers in Western Europe. It's a very important industry uh, with a specific business problem, which is the fact that there's a, a lot of wasted. And our objective is really to help reduce that spoilage of food products. Then we have the pharmaceutical market. And in the pharmaceutical market, we see a, a growing segment of uh, pharmaceutical drugs that are temperature sensitive. So they need to be stored within very strict temperature limits. So the pharmaceutical market is also a key market for this application. There's so many industries now who are waking up for the opportunities which, which this technology gives them. It, 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 it is the basis for, for many new cycles in, in different areas. Real time you can see what's going on you know, in, in, in moving uh, vehicles, uh, shipping. We see now for instance the car industry um, where there's a growing demand for our, for our uh, products and, and solutions. We can deploy our network very fast and very reliably. It allows us to set up a network at certain places where you don't want to spend time. For example, in, in military applications, you've got one day to set up a network and the next day you're leaving again. So this quick and fast deployment is essential in many application domains. A lot of the markets that we focus on can be found in outdoor environment. If you look at our protocol, it has a specific strength in the fact that it's all wireless, so we can create all wireless networks and this is particularly important in areas where it's difficult or expensive to put in uh, power cables such as the oil and gas industry where you want to monitor the condition of oil pipes environmental monitoring where you want to monitor uh, moisture levels for example we work with a company called CITOS in the port of Amsterdam CITOS is one of the largest uh, logistics service provider of food commodities so they ship uh, cocoa beans and coffee beans from South America and Africa to Europe, having uh, very large warehouse facilities in the port of Amsterdam. In these warehouses, we've implemented uh, a wireless temperature monitoring system. And this is very important because one of the major problems uh, in these warehouses is the fact that these cocoa beans can start to heat up internally when they are stored for such an extended period of time. This may cause uh, a decay, but in the worst case it may even lead to fires where a pile of cocoa beans starts to burn. We implement a system to monitor the temperature inside the stored cocoa beans. So we replaced a manual process which was very labor intensive and prone to errors with a completely automatic system. The CITOS system was implemented by one of our partners a few years ago and has been running flawlessly since then. So it shows that uh, our technology is really proven. Although it's innovative, we have many installations that are, like CITOS, running successfully without any problem for years. So it has really turned into a proven solution.